want to take you down memory lane. All right. I want you to love on yourself. I want you to take me inside the mindset. His OPS has gotten better each of the last four seasons. You need a drink or anything? <laughs> you know, I'm always down for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm more fired up for anyone than Tori Lovello. You have to prepare to win every inch all over the baseball field. If you would have saw the warm up before this game, you would have <laughs> thought I couldn't get the little leaguers out of Williams Court. What was the flight home like? I don't remember. <laughs> You've had some Let's good guests. Yeah. We've had some good some guests good at ones. the ones. Tori is one of my favorite humans. Listen, I'm not doing the, the whole glasses thing to look cool. Something <laughs> happened when I turned 49 years old. Yeah. I can't see anymore. Okay, it's fine. All right? So there's a full slate of games today. Okay. Obviously opening day, two rain outs. But I think you got to focus on a few, at least for me. You fall in love with the four box, can't wait to get home, lock in on that, feed up. You're ready to go. I mean, maybe a burrito, maybe a Jersey Mike's, who knows? So where are we going to start? Not with the red, yellow, and green. That was a whip. <laughs> okay. a whip. Let's start with Logan Webb oh, versus him. you, Darvish. And come on, the whole Bob Melvin saga is kind of strange, so pause that real quick. I mean, this guy went from San Diego being on the verge of potentially going to a World Series, and then all of a sudden, in the division, he's now managing the San Francisco Giants. But I think it makes a ton of sense. I like what the Giants have done, and I don't think this beast gets enough love. Check out Logan Webb. Run the tape right here, because he has got one of the dirtiest sinkers. We talk about in today's game, velocity, top of the zone, four seam, and then curveball off it. He goes sinker, change up. He's got one of the best change ups in the game and he has dominated. Watch this to Xander Bogarts. Oh, oh, change up. Oh, one dirty change up again. You would think he's not going to triple up backdoor paint at 88. He has had the Padres number since jump. So this is this is a good matchup for the Giants to get off to a nice start. By the way, before Snell, the Giants had a great offseason with Jung Hu Lee and Chapman and Solaire. Before yeah. him, everything kind of fell in their it lap. Did. It really did. So they're going to be an interesting team for me I mean, to watch. I think it's the toughest division in baseball mm -hmm. right now. So I, ag I agree sure. with you. And just for fans at home, Logan Webb threw his change up in 2022 31% of the time. He's up the ante to 42% of the time. So it's a big pitch for him. So watch that today against the good right handed hitters. And also check out Jackson Merrill playing center field 20 years old for the San Diego Padres. That was big to make the team for him. All right. Now let's go. This is one of the better matchups of the day. He's my Cy Young Award potential winner Pablo Lopez. Complete opposite of Logan Webb. Four seam elevated 95 to 96 Ooh. miles an hour blowing cheese right by guys. He's six foot four huge lower half and he gets unbelievable extension. Pause that real quick. What does extension give you perceived velocity through the zone. So when we used to come back to the dugout and go hey this guy's heater's got life on it. They now know it's extension and the perceived velocity is playing a lot hotter than what you thought it was or what the scoreboard miles per hour is saying. Tyler Glass now six foot eight. He dominates perceived velocity with his extension. This guy gets a lot of swing and miss on four seams middle of the plate. I remember 30 30 for the twins a couple years ago. What time do we get there early right Very 5 a.m. 6 a.m. Everybody is silent. And there's him stretching. He is yeah. married to the game. He's there every day at 5 a.m. What a great he became trade. A fan right away. Luis, yeah. Luis Arise. Helps both teams. Both teams win win. Also, you know who he's taken on? Run this. Another unbelievable trade. Have we? Oh, Rig. Hey, he's sleeper pick for a lot of people for AL Cy Young. JP Morosi. He been. was dominant. He went from 92 miles an hour average fastball to he's throwing 96, 97 miles an hour. So, the Rangers won the battle with the Aroldis Chapman trade and going on to win the World Series, but they will eventually lose the war because this guy looks like a number one starter. Whenever I think of Kaufman, I think of you saying you go to Kansas City for sushi. You're the only one in America. You guys at home know what I'm talking about. You stay at that Intercontinental, you walk across the Kona Grill, and you get some sushi. No? Where are you going? Like the barbecue? Yes. I don't want to get messy. Okay. Ribs, scam. Really? Uh, yeah, scam. 
next game. Let's there's, not a, there's not enough meat on the bone. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is an interesting matchup. Justin Steele taking on the defending champs. And what am I showing here? This guy has the ability to throw four seam heaters in on right handed hitters. If you could do that, mm. you remind me of old slap jaw Johnny Lester, because that's exactly what he was trying to do. So Justin Steele gives me Johnny Lester vibes on opening day, heading to take on the Rangers. And who does he oppose? Only the best big game pitcher in the sport right now. 5-0 and last year in the postseason for the Rangers. We saw what he did in 2018 with the Red Sox. Nate Evaldi, that's who you want on the bump. What was the difference with Justin Steele? Just body of work? I mean, when you look at last well, year compared to the two years well, before. Well, funny, funny you should. More starts, for sure. Funny you should say that, Lauren, because he's basically turned himself. Eric Nays, researcher to the stars, just kills it with these notes. He's basically turned himself into a two-pitch pitcher. When he first showed up in 2021, he was throwing a sinker, a slider, a curve, and a change. He has gone almost two-pitch mix. I'm going four-seam with cut in, and I'm going nasty back foot slider off of it. Justin Steele had the most wins by a left-handed pitcher last year. I mean, more than Blake Snell. Who he had a chance to win the Cy Young. His, he was clunky down the stretch his last yeah. two or three starts, and it cost him. I've never been to that ballpark. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah, it's 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 really nice. Okay, and the last Reminds one minute made. tonight. A lot of people are out on the Red Sox because of them not doing anything, and that's a, that's a story for another day. What they did do is lock up one of their bright young stars. Brian Bayo is a dominant starting pitcher, a six-year extension, working with Pedro. He gives you baby Pedro vibes, but you got to show me for me to compare you to one of the greatest of all time. Luis Castilla. Seattle's got a chance to do special things this year, and Luis will be at the top of it. But one thing to watch for is he started to fall in love with his four-seam heater. He had always been kind of a sinker guy, and he started to fall in love with the four-seam heater. Last year, he gave up 13 bombs on four-seam heaters last year. And I don't know if anybody really dove into spring training, but Trevor Story and oh. Raphael Devers we're taking BP down in Fort Myers for six weeks. So they come into this game red hot offensively. Doesn't always transition <laughs> over, but you could see. <laughs> I love the live he's shot of the moves over. with the trident. Yeah, he's just hanging out with the trident. Hey guys, look at my trident over here. Don't sleep on Trevor's story this year. Huge bounce back year for him. So those are the kind of the four games. I'll be watching them all, but I'll it's, be focused uh, on, on these four.